So today we are going to cover a very important thing which is upside speed. And if you watch my videos, I already give a lot of tips about how you can increase the upside speed. This video is another useful video that how you can increase your upside speed. If you know the main reason what makes your website slow are images. Because sometimes we use high quality images on a website which are very big in size. And when they are very big in size, somebody open a website, it takes a lot of time to load all those images to the user's computer. So in today's video, I will tell you how you can keep those high quality images. I'm not going to tell you you need to compress those images or you need to use low quality version. I'm going to tell you how you can use those high quality images and still load your website very fast. So we are going to use lazy load method. So what happened in lazy load method when somebody load a website, only the images which are visible on the first load of website. For example, if you load a website, it's a very tall page, but only some portion of website is shown on the first load. So in lazy load, only the images which are shown on the first load, they're visible and all the rest images which are below the viewport, they're loaded asynchronously by lazy load method. So I'm going to show you how you can do this in WordPress. Before we move forward, I'd like to tell you in this channel, I give a lot of important tips and tricks that how you can create a website, manage a website and make them faster and more secure. So if you're new here and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel. If this video gives some value to you, please like the video. It just take two seconds and this video can be reached to a lot of people. If you like this video and share with somebody who want to make their website faster. So let's go into my computer scene and I show you how you can use this lazy load image method. So first of all, you need to log in your WordPress dashboard and then from left sidebar, hover on plugins and then click add new. We are going to use this plug which is called lazy load images. Search here for lazy load, then scroll the page. There are a lot of plugins available for lazy load, but I'm going to use this very simple plugin. It has very minimum work to install and it do all the work. So with minimum efforts, you can get this plugin working and it is automatic plugin and it is very easy to use plugin. It is not like all other lazy load plugins where you have to do a lot of configuration. So now we are going to install this plugin. Click on install now. Once it is installed, click on activate. Once this plugin is activated, hover on settings and then click on lazy load. And from here you can choose, you can lazy load images, you can lazy load your iframes and videos and you can replace YouTube videos by thumbnails. So this last one is interesting. What happens when you embed a YouTube video on a website? It is a very big video and it takes a lot of time to load. So what happened with this plugin? This plugin does not load the video directly. It loads the thumbnail of your video from YouTube. When somebody open a website, only the thumbnail is loaded. When somebody click on that thumbnail, then the video is loaded. It is a very nice way to improve your website speed. And I'm using the lazy load from a lot of years. Recently with version 5.5, the lazy load method is already implemented in WordPress, but it is applied only for images. By this plugin, you can use it on iframe and videos also and for YouTube videos. I hope you like the video. Try using this plugin. If you face any problem, just comment down below. I'll help you for sure. And I hope this will increase your website speed significantly. Thank you so much. See you in another video. Have a nice day.